In this video I'm going to show you how to break the bondage of being forced to use only a single computer by teaching you the basics of cloud computing and how to use all of your programs online. The cloud is a metaphor for describing the internet. Cloud computing is a means of using the internet for your computing needs. For instance, a few days ago I showed you several applications that you could use through your browser without having to download or install anything. These are basic cloud computing apps, but what I'm going to show you in this video are full cloud computing operating systems. The first one is called Cloudo, found at beta.cloudo.com, and it's free to sign up so you can just uh, uh, get a username and password and then log in, and you'll see something that looks like this. It looks like a regular computer desktop, and it has a, a My Documents folder where you can right click, select new and upload, and upload files from your computer to this online operating system where you can then access it from any computer that has an internet connection. The cool thing about Cloudo is that it's good for programmers or developers because it has a programming environment where you can write your own applications for use in the Cloudo environment. The next operating system is found at OOS.cc and it's called iCube. And this one very closely resembles Windows. Once you log in, um, you'll see different uh, applications that you can start on your desktop. And just like Cloudo, if you go to the file manager, you can right click and select upload to upload pictures, music, or videos directly from your computer to this operating system. And if you like Windows, then you'll like this one because it, it's very close. It has a programs menu and it looks a lot like uh, regular Windows. And it even has under games a Mario game along with many others. So that's pretty cool. The next uh, online operating system is called iOS. And this is my favorite one because it's got uh, so many different applications that you can use and so many different ways to access it. Um, it's got like a spreadsheet, for instance, and a word processing program. Um, out of the three operating systems that I've mentioned, this is the one with the most uh, different uh, versatile applications that you can use within it. And you can see all the applications here. And uh, um, if you, it also gives you the opportunity to uh, upload files as well. But not only that, you can also download an iOS program that you can install on your own computer and use it as a server so that you can access uh, your computer and your own files from, from anywhere as long as you have this installed and you have it running. And you'll also notice that it has a web browser within it. And you might find that kind of odd since this runs within a web browser, but this, is, this creates a good opportunity to use a proxy. You can use it as a proxy and access it from anywhere. And another cool thing about iOS is if you go to iOS.mobi, you can access it, all of your files from your mobile phone and also browse and upload files that are located on your mobile phone. Alright, well that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.